Here's your Lucas Oil Moto 1 race recap of the 250s. Following the whole shot, a mistake. Fariz runs into the back of him, and Mosman blows by everybody. Yeah, watch Volan comes by right there on the Red Bull KTM, grabbing that whole shot, trying to do what he did earlier this year. Mosman gets out front, takes off, and then we started to see Jet Lawrence come alive. We've seen the last couple of rounds. Takes a few laps, takes his time, and then round lap three or four really starts to kick it into gear, dare I say, gets on the jets. And then Mosman, uh, uh, whoop, Race goes down, down with the lead. And there you see uh. Jet cruising down the inside. And when he got up, he had race winning pace again later in the moto. And you could see this. He would catch back up to Hampshire, Bowen, and the rest. And move into the number two spot. One that got away for Mosman. And taking full advantage. He has been error free. He has been rock solid as of late. Jet Lawrence tightening his grip on this 250 National Motocross Championship. Show you the Lucas Oil race recap. As we focus in on Ferrandis here. Yeah, it seemed like he, by the way, at the top qualifying time, he picked that prime spot right next to the starter's box, but it is Roxon who's going to take the whole shot. And a web, Ferrandis and Steve. And Roxon looked good early. Yeah, it looked like the prime conditions for Roxon to go out and take a few points back. But Ferrandis was on the gas. He gets past Cooper Webb right here, making it look easy. Webb would put in a strong ride also. But look at this. Ferrandis just to the inside of Roxon. And watch Roxon here. Just kind of tiptoes through this turn. Bad line choice. And Ferrandis goes by. Yep. And then at one point, Roxon challenged Ferrandis, and he lost a bunch of ground. And then Tomac was able to get by him. First thing Tomac had to do was get Webb, though. This is for second. Webb gets held up by a couple of lap riders. So my Tomac was going to get him at some point anyway. That made it a little bit easier on him. But Webb had fought him off for four or five laps. That allowed Roxon to open up a pretty good gap over Tomac. Didn't think Tomac would have time to catch him. But then he did just like that. He was around Roxon, who then uh, lost the pace toward the end. And then on last uh, couple laps, Roxon looked like he was really struggling at one point. Almost looked like he was going to slow down and pull off. There he is. And he would still somehow hold on for third. Once Ferrandez had the lead, he was able to manage it from there. And he takes the first Moto Victory, seventh Moto win of the year in 21 starts. Here are the guaranteed rate results. So Roxon, even on cruise control, the final two laps, still holds off Webb for third, Webb fourth, Craig fifth. Anstey, best moto of the year for him, sixth. Ahead of Shock, who holds off Bogle, Savachi ninth, and Brandon Hartraft on his Suzuki, rounding out the top 10. Give it the Lucas Oil Moto 2 race recap. And you heard Jet yell when he came into the tent after the race, I actually got a whole shot. And here it is. Yeah, he just grabbed the whole shot by a few bike links over Mosman and Cooper, and he just made life easy on himself. Meanwhile, uh, Cooper trying to ride through the pack. I mean, Mosman was second for a while, and then finally Cooper makes that move towards the end of the moto. Much better ride for Cooper here in moto two compared to moto one, where he is fifth. And then Shimoda just never gave up. Kept closing on Mosman and made the move. Yeah, it takes the short line right here and flies right by the inside. So Shimoda would round out the moto podium in this one. Once Cooper got the second, he was 10 seconds down on Lawrence. It didn't change. It was about 10 seconds right to the line. You got to figure Lawrence was managing that one. Here are the guaranteed rate results. Mosman fourth, combined with a second in Moto uh, One. He'll be second overall. Let's go back to the podium. The Lucas Oil race recap and show you how he put the finishing touches on it. Got the lead early. Had a good battle with uh, Cooper Webb, who slipped by him. So did Roxon. Then Roxon gets around Webb to take over the number one spot. Then Ferrandis gets around Webb and then gets around Roxon. Yeah, Ferrandis was on the gas right here, put himself in a great position, had a clear track to where he could, you know, didn't really have to battle anyone. But the only problem was is that Eli Tomac, these last couple weeks has been on fire. He started working his way methodically through the pack. Here he's gonna go by Roxon. That should give him a second, if I remember correctly. He sets his sights on Ferrandis. And right here, watch Ferrandis. He knows that Tomac is putting on a hard charge, pulls the tear off. Ferrandis just trying to be smooth, trying to be smart right now as Tomac goes by for the win. And Tomac celebrating here on the last lap. Two overall wins in a row for Tomac. Strong send off with him and this team still giving their best efforts right down the stretch. And 
Bond. Ferrandez would cruise it home in second. He finished second in the moto, second overall for the day. And that was more than enough. Combined with the huge points lead he had coming in to wrap this title up one race early. Here are your guaranteed rate results from this second moto that just was completed. Webb finishing third, Craig fourth. Anstey Roxton, Shock, Hartraff, Stavacci, Freddie Doran up in the top ten returning from injury for the TPJ team.